hi guys welcome to my channel that was a little bit weird hi guys welcome to my channel okay i suck at this i suck i'm sorry hi and welcome to my channel um i started a youtube channel some months yeah months ago that was last year i um I failed to do an introductory video which is basically what every youtuber is supposed to do so they could like introduce themselves and what their youtube channel is about and i just wanted to do it now i mean i know it's kind of late but you should know me if we're going to make this relationship work so i'm doing like a q and a session and um I'm just going to answer random questions about myself. I picked this up from, uh, yeah, online. I picked this, these questions up online, and I think they're just random questions. But first of all, I would um, just like to give you a basic introduction about myself. That um, my name is Amatullah Machu Alhat. I'm from Kaduna. Um, uh, that's from the northwest part of Nigeria and um, I did my primary school here in Kaduna and I did um, an NC program in FC Zaria and now I'm doing my B BSc in Kaduna State University. I'm in my third year so hopefully by next year I'll be done and that phase of my life will be over. Oh God. I mean, school sucks. <laughs> I don't know how many times I can say school sucks before it actually, like, you know. I mean, a lot of people say that when you're when you finish school, you miss it. But I don't know if I'll miss school. I hate school, even though I actually try my best to do what I'm supposed to do in school. Oh. Anyway, so that's that about me. Let's get into some basic questions. Who is your best friend? I don't have a best friend. For a girl, I know that's kind of weird. Us girls do this whole best friend thing a lot. But I have a lot of close friends. I have like, well not a lot, like three close friends. They're like my closest friends. Most of them I grew up with and they know almost everything about me. They're like my go-to people. Um, when it comes to they like my support system they got my back all the time um, but I don't I don't have I have a best friend mm, I should have a best friend who wants to be my best friend <laughs> anyway when did you screw up everything but no one ever found out it was you <laughs> okay there was this time um, it was during uh, Ramadan and uh, my mom, my mom is the one that wakes everybody in the house up. She, I mean, it's something she's so passionate about. She does it, like she always does it. So everybody became reluctant to, you know, putting an alarm or uh, making an effort to get up. Even when your alarm goes up, you're just like, go back to sleep because you know that she would come knocking. So um, there was this time, it was a very long time ago, I think, uh, phones weren't really advanced as they are now at that time um, I picked up my mom's phone and um, <laughs> Oh my god, I removed her sim card and I put mine in I can't remember per se what I wanted to do I think I was picking up a number or calling someone I can't really recall but I switched sim cards and then after I was done of course I switched them back but uh, what I didn't know was that the alarm reset itself so um, it had to be like uh, reset again after I switched back the sim card I didn't know that and I just like switched it up and then kept it nobody knew I picked up her phone um, so that day the alarm didn't go off and my mom didn't wake up so like uh, towards around like 15 minutes to a uh, calling of prayer um, I think it was my brother who woke up 
somehow i think maybe his alarm went on he was like what's going on so he woke up and then realized that the time has passed and he came and he knocked on our window because he used to stay up in the boys quarter so he knocked on our window and he's like Putash, putash, putash. Um, <laughs> as by, um, so my mom just woke up like abruptly she was like Inna, like, Inna, like, Inna, like, Inna. like so everybody was late that day everybody some of us didn't get to eat some of us started eating and the prayer was called because like they have to warm the food and everything we knew the whole process so i just like zipped my mouth and didn't say a thing because i knew that if anybody knew that it was me i was dead literally so i hope none of my siblings see this what celebrity would you rate as a perfect 10. I think Rihanna. Um, a lot of people love Rihanna and I don't know if they love her for the same reason I love her. I don't really love her per se but I like the way she is. She's a 10 for me because she has an awesome unique voice and um, she has this really nice structure. She's not like Nicki Minaj or Kim Kardashian, she has this really awesome structure and she has a like a distinct style. I love her style, it's different. It could be crazy sometimes, but it's it always stands out. So and she just ends up doing everything perfectly, whether she looks crazy or normal or cool or whatever, it's perfect. She's always perfect. And she knows exactly what to say and she has like this limited social media you know she's not all up about herself all the time I just like that about her so for me it's Rihanna yeah um if you had to change your name what would your new name be and why would you choose to name yourself that I think if I had to change my name, if I yeah had an opportunity, it would be Fatima. Fatima because it's my grandmother's name from my mom's side. I um I never got to know her. She she died um before I was born. I wish I got to know her. From everything everyone says about her, she's a beautiful soul and may Allah grant her peace. I wish I got to know her and for that reason I wouldn't I would love to be named Fatima after her that aside I actually like the nicknames that come with Fatima Fatima to Zahra or Batula I don't know Fatima is just yeah <laughs> um, what's your biggest screw up in the kitchen mmm Wow, that is not really hard tool. I cook. Like, cooking is a passion for me. I love doing it. But the one thing you would ask me to do and I would mess it up is tool. I'm not bad when it comes to Twenshin Kafa. Like, Twenshin Kafa is simple. Like, you just cook it. When it's like, you just do the whole thing. But... When you ask me to do semo, wheat, um, maybe uh, tomasara, oh my god, I suck. You, I, <laughs> I suck. I don't know how to do it. Like, and it's not like I'm bad in the kitchen. Like I said, I, I enjoy cooking, and I, I'm actually very choosy when it comes to food. So I have to get out there and make it. But tuo is like the only thing that I have never like took time to learn. I don't know, maybe because my mom makes awesome tool. Maybe that's why. And she's been talking to me about it. She's like, what if you marry a man that loves tool? What are you going to do then? I think maybe when I'm like close to getting married, maybe let's say a month, I'll just take time to learn it properly, you know, so that I just don't go and screw up. And if I still can't learn to do it, then I pray to God that I do not marry a man that likes tool because that is going to be a big issue for us <laughs> and aside from that i think uh, i have others but this is the basic screw up next what's the closest 
thing to read no, I'm sorry what's the closest thing to real magic for me I would have to say love um, <laughs> it's an a truly magical feeling you um, most people think that you just love someone maybe your spouse your family your friends love goes beyond that it's it's magic because for me like the most magical love i know is the love of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam i've never met him all i know are stories about him the quran talks about him the hadith i get from like our scholars and um honestly i am in love with him i love him so much it's magical because how do you love a person that is just like you don't know and it's also like that with um this islamic reciter uh mishari alafasi i'm obsessed with him his voice does something really amazing to me i love listening to him um uh, uh a lot of people those that know mishari alafasi i know a lot of people see his name and they maybe read um uh, listen to sudeis and shreem or uh, uh gamdi but like for me he's just perfect his voice is amazing forget the fact that he's an arab and he is good looking i love his voice for me that's like magic because i can't really explain how much i love him for you to understand it's not a love that has to do with um uh, yeah i wouldn't mind like if he has four wives three and he asks me to be his fourth it would oh marry him but it's not even like that it's just a love that's beyond explanation and it's magical so that is the closest thing to real magic for me that is the closest thing that i've been to real magic um next question what's something you've always wanted to try but have been too scared to um for those of you that know me i love horses i love horses and um I I've I I ride horses until I had an incident with a horse but I still ride horses and there's one thing I want to do is to learn how to ride a horse properly and one day play polo I've always wanted to try that polo I've always wanted to try it and I think it's impossible because right now, even though I still ride horses, I'm too scared to do something out of normal, just, you know, riding it, maybe uh, juggle or stuff like that, because it once got out of control with me. And considering the fact that I'm a girl and if the horse was to throw me off it, I might break my hands or my legs and that's it for me. No one would want to be with me. Well, maybe someone would. But it's really hard and rare to find those. Anyway, polo. I would love to try polo, but I'm too scared to be that close to a horse. I'm too scared to ride a horse to that extreme level to even learn how to even ride it properly and then go to that level. Yeah. Next question. What is the most useless talent you have? Oh, that is a tough one. I have a talent, okay, I'm nonchalant about things. For me, I don't know, it's, it's almost an art, like, <laughs> I could just, like, switch off emotions. I, I don't know how to, like, I mean, I don't like it, but I do it a lot. There was a time it was a challenge for me, because... I lost someone I was so close to, someone I loved so much, and I just had so much anxiety, and I started being scared of losing people, but then, I don't know, I, I think I still do it, this non-challenged attitude towards people, my feelings, like, I numb it, I numb my emotions, and I'm cold sometimes towards people, it's a very, very useless talent. <laughs> Um, 
What's your favorite TV show as a child? Mm. Wow. Zena! Oh god! <laughs> um, I wanted to be like Zena, the warrior princess. I was so young and I don't remember anything about it. Even then it was like an old TV show. It was but I loved it. I can't remember a single Zena scene right now, but it was my favorite growing up. Um, next question. Who is your favorite person in the world? My mom. Of course. <laughs> She's my favorite person in the world because even though like uh, most of us don't tell our parents everything and I don't tell my mom everything either but she's the most she's the only person I'm comfortable telling things like I could sit down and talk to her about things that bother me that I can't normally talk to anyone else about even my friends because there's that boundary I know she's my mother and no matter what she would do whatever she can to help me she would never say anything that would hurt me and she would always do things that are to my best interest even though my closest friends would do that for me too but i trust my mom way too much when it comes to that so my mom i think i'm just going to put a pause here and we could still do q and a's another time um but right now this is the best i could take so i hope this gives you like i don't know some kind of idea about who i am and you know and when it comes to my YouTube channel, uh, we'll talk about that in another video. I'm just so glad we got to do this. Um, please uh, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification beside it. Thank you so much for watching.